Shelby Blackstock is saying goodbye after his mother's tragic diagnosis. Reba McIntyre was born Reba Nell McIntyre on March 28, 1955, in McAllister, Oklahoma, a place where the roots of her deep-seated passion for music took hold. Growing up on a cattle ranch in the heart of rural America, Reba's childhood was steeped in the rich tapestry of country living. It was amidst the rustic charm of this environment that she first discovered her love for singing. From the tender age when she could barely reach the microphone, Reba would serenade the fields with her melodic voice, harmonizing with the wind and the chirping of crickets under the vast Oklahoma sky. Raised amidst the rolling plains and sprawling pastures, Reba's connection to nature infused her music with an authenticity that resonated deeply with audiences. Her upbringing on the ranch instilled in her a sense of resilience and determination that would later define her career in the fiercely competitive world of entertainment. Despite her undeniable talent, Reba's path to stardom was not always clear-cut. After graduating from high school, she pursued higher education at Southeastern Oklahoma State University with aspirations of becoming a teacher. It was during her time at university that Reba honed her craft and further nurtured her love for music. While studying education, she actively participated in campus performances and local gigs, captivating audiences with her soulful renditions and magnetic stage presence. In 1975, Reba's talent caught the attention of industry insiders, leading to a pivotal moment in her career, the signing of her first recording contract with Mercury Records. This marked a significant milestone for the aspiring singer, as it provided her with the opportunity to share her music with a broader audience and take her first steps toward achieving her dreams of superstardom. Under the guidance of Mercury Records, Reba began to refine her sound and develop her unique artistic voice laying the groundwork for what would soon become a legendary career in country music. Two years later, in 1977, Reba released her debut album titled Reba McIntyre, a project that represented the culmination of years of hard work and dedication. While the album showcased Reba's undeniable talent and versatility as an artist, it initially failed to achieve major commercial success. Despite this setback, Reba remained undeterred viewing the experience as a valuable learning opportunity rather than a defeat. Her resilience and unwavering determination to succeed propelled her forward, driving her to continue honing her craft and pushing the boundaries of her artistic expression. Reba McIntyre's career reached new heights with the release of her breakthrough album My Kind of Country in 1984, a seminal moment that propelled her into the forefront of country music stardom. The album was a game-changer for Reba showcasing her formidable talent and cementing her reputation as one of the genre's most compelling voices. My Kind of Country struck a chord with audiences worldwide, thanks in part to its standout hit singles that dominated the airwaves and catapulted Reba to superstardom. Songs like How Blue and Somebody Should Leave resonated deeply with listeners, earning Reba critical acclaim and commercial success on a scale previously unseen in her career. Throughout the 1980s, Reba continued to assert her dominance in the world of country music with a string of successful albums that solidified her status as a leading figure in the genre. From the chart-topping success of albums like Have I Got a Deal for You and What Am I Gonna Do About You to the critically acclaimed The Last One to Know, Reba's discography during this era was spectacular. With each release, she pushed the boundaries of her artistry, exploring new themes and musical styles while staying true to her roots. Reba McIntyre's illustrious career is marked by a multitude of achievements and accolades that attest to her unparalleled talent and versatility as an artist. In 1986, she achieved a significant milestone when she won her first Grammy Award for Best Female Country Vocal Performance for her poignant rendition of Whoever's in New England. This prestigious accolade not only served as validation of Reba's exceptional vocal abilities but also solidified her status as one of the preeminent voices in country music. The Grammy win was a pivotal moment in Reba's career, opening doors to new opportunities and further cementing her place in music history. Beyond her extraordinary success in the world of music, Reba's talents extend far beyond the confines of the recording studio. In 2001, she made a seamless transition into acting, starring in the hit sitcom Reba from 2001 to 2007. As the titular character, Reba Hart, 
she charmed audiences with her wit, warmth, and comedic timing, earning widespread acclaim for her portrayal of the lovable single mother navigating life's ups and downs with grace and humor. Reba not only showcased Reba's acting chops but also introduced her to a whole new generation of fans, further solidifying her status as a beloved icon of stage and screen. The personal life of Reba McIntyre is a testament to her resilience and strength in the face of adversity, showcasing the depth of her character and the unwavering spirit that has defined her career. In 1976, Reba married her first husband, Charlie Battles, embarking on a journey ending in divorce in 1987. Despite the dissolution of their marriage, Reba emerged from this experience with a newfound sense of self and determination channeling her emotions into her music and using her artistry as a means of catharsis and healing. Tragedy struck Reba's life in 1991 when she faced the devastating loss of eight members of her band in a tragic plane crash. The profound impact of this tragedy cannot be overstated, as it shook Reba to her core and left an indelible mark on her soul. In the wake of such unimaginable loss, Reba's resilience and strength of spirit shone brightly as she navigated through grief and sorrow with grace and dignity. Through her music, Reba found solace and comfort, using her art as a form of therapy to process her emotions and honor the memory of those she had lost. In 1989, Reba found love again when she married Narvel Blackstock, a union that would last for over two decades before ultimately ending in divorce in 2015. Together, Reba and Narvel welcomed their son. Shelby Stephen McIntyre Blackstock, into the world, forming a close-knit family unit that brought joy and fulfillment into Reba's life. Despite the challenges and complexities of marriage and family life, Reba approached each chapter of her journey with courage, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to love and connection. How is the beloved country music icon Reba McIntyre doing these days? The legendary singer, who has been a source of inspiration and joy for millions, has recently faced some tough battles. A year ago, Reba McIntyre quietly fought and initially overcame breast cancer, but the journey took a challenging turn this March when she received the devastating news that the disease had returned to its fourth stage. The 69-year-old artist, known for her resilience and heartfelt music, couldn't hide her emotions as she shared her journey with BBC News two months later. Despite the severity of her diagnosis, Reba has shown incredible strength and determination. She has openly discussed her ongoing fight against cancer, explaining that she has had to gradually scale back her public appearances and performances. I want to pretend that I don't need to check everything because I continue to fight for survival, she candidly shared, emphasizing her ongoing battle and the importance of staying positive. Although she has not disclosed detailed information about her current physical condition, Reba has been transparent about her treatment plan and the early stages of her illness. She remains poised and collected in front of the camera, attributing much of her strength to staying active and engaged. I think having something to do always makes me happy, but now it's even more satisfying, she explained, highlighting the significance of maintaining a sense of purpose. In an interview, Reba debunked the myth that people with stage 4 cancer cannot continue to work stressing that she still feels fine and is supported by a wonderful medical team. Her tenacity and optimism shine through, inspiring many who are in similar battles. Reba marked Breast Cancer Awareness Month with a heartfelt Instagram post, sharing her personal journey from her initial diagnosis to her current battle with advanced disease. She urged her followers to educate themselves about cancer and emphasized the importance of regular checkups. Reflecting on her experience during chemotherapy, Reba admitted, I was usually not separated from chemotherapy, I too was extremely tired, I looked ridiculous, but I can laugh at myself. Her humor and grace in the face of adversity are truly admirable. She also shared that her metastasis are now gone, although she found it strange that people constantly told her they were praying for her, believing that others might be facing even more difficult challenges. In May, Reba revealed in an interview that she hopes to live another 10 to 15 years, a testament to her unwavering spirit and hope for the future. Reba McIntyre's journey is not just about her fight with cancer. It's a powerful narrative of courage, resilience, and the will to keep inspiring others no matter the obstacles. Through her story, she encourages everyone to live and be happy, proving that even in the face of cancer, 
life can still be beautiful and fulfilling.